is going on to the AMC stock family? In today's video, we have a lot to talk about. Can AMC stock go to $10,000? Can it go to $12,000? Because that is what many people are talking about right now. Many investors, they're waiting for $10,000. They're waiting for $12,000. But how could that be possible when there are articles coming out left and right saying that the price target is $6? And in fact, the price target actually used to be lower, but it's just some hedge funds are raising their price target. Again, the important word is they're raising their price target to $6 indicating that their initial price target was lower. We're going to be talking about all that in today's video, so stay tuned. And if you guys enjoy this video, if you guys find any value from this video, make sure you guys share this with your fellow AMC holders. There are a lot of paper hands right now, and it is understandable. There's a lot of problems going on right now that no one wants to know. There's problems going on in China. There's problems with just the technicalities of a lot of these equities. There's problems with the big cap stocks. And let me just tell you, it all does revolve around AMC because AMC plays a factor into all this. Now, let's just continue with the first article. Remember, we have a lot of important information to be talking about. This is just one of them. So AMC stock price got raised to $6 a share, well below the $42 price that we are at right now, around this price zone. Why even bother buying it? Yes, these are the articles that are coming out. We are not going to be reading all this just because that would not be worth your time. But here is exactly what you need to know. So there's a bank that raised its price target from $5 to $6. Yes, I already know what money of you guys are thinking right now. How could that even be possible when we are trading at $42 a share and people want this stock to go to $10,000 a share? Well, this is well below Tuesday's closing price of $42.60. And for further context, the last time AMC was trading below $6 was in February of 2021 aka this year. Well, it cited AMC's third quarter revenue and earnings, which came in above expectations, okay, good, along with the movie theaters company fourth quarter outlooks as a reason for the raise from $5 to $6. Remember, this is a reality. This is what many investors are talking about and what the true price target should be because of fundamental reasons. And as a result, Citi, which is the bank, updated its model. The stock actually fell more than 11% in a single day after earnings were reported last week. Yes, this is true, but you also have to remember everyone. Again, see, this is the stuff that they don't want you to know about. They don't want you to understand that the reason why it fell 11% in a single day after earnings was actually because Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC, he liquidated his position. I'm not sure why they don't mention that, but anyways, let's just continue reading because Citi maintained its sell rating on the stock, so they are still negative sentiment and clarifying its belief that AMC remains overvalued at current levels. I'm pretty sure they're talking about all levels, fundamentals, and technicals, but we're going to be talking about why the technicals are actually looking extremely amazing, and don't get me started on the option chain activity because I'm actually extremely excited to be talking about that as well. I think something is going on right now that not many understand. So, the bank isn't an outlier. Analysts covering the stock have an average price target of $5.58 this is actually true. The consensus is very low. And according to this data analytics website, there's currently a 67% of those individuals or just of general individuals rating AMC with a sell rating. Remember everyone, 67% this is how many individuals believe that AMC stock should be worth less than $10 a share, less than $20 a share. And that sounds bizarre, I know, because right now we are trading in the 40s. And so finally, here's what I really want to talk about. And I couldn't wait any longer, so I'm just going to bring it in right over here as a second important detail that we all need to understand. In my opinion, and remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do believe something is going on right now that, again, not many know about just because if we go over here to the option chain activity, and I know options, they are not 100% an indicator of what's going to happen in the market. But I just think that a lot of individuals, they see this option chain activity and they don't really understand what it means. So I just want to quickly bring your attention to another equity. And this really does highlight the point that if you are early to understanding what the market is going to do before the market actually reacts, you are going to be in a much better position. And here's exactly why. So this was one equity that I was eyeing purely because of the options activity. We are at the 10 day outlook for the options activity. And so I believe the ticker symbol for this is ticker symbol F-O-U-R. And so at around November 9th, look at this option chain activity. It has absolutely no volume. And then randomly, it decides to have a spike right over here. And you could really see it actually does play a huge factor right over here just a few days later, or not even a few days later, just momentarily after. And before it actually wasn't like this, there was actually more emphasis on just this November 9th candle right before the massive increase decided to happen. And then what do you know, after just one day later, in fact, just a few hours later, going from $58.19, you guys can see this is the same day. This is the option chain activity, all these candlesticks over here. Over here, we have the blue versus red red, call options versus put options, and what do you know after that day, just a few hours later, the price skyrockets from $58 a share to now $72 a share. And then we do have a sell-off because it is called profit taking. Similar concept happened to AMC. Not everyone is going to be a holder, but I'm guessing because you guys are watching this video that either you are a day trader, you're trying to understand what's going to happen in a day-to-day -day basis for AMC. If you're a swing trader, you're going to see what happens to AMC possibly in the next few weeks or the next few months, or you may just well be a 
long-term investor, which is currently my position right now, because I simply believe that there's just too much opportunity in AMC stock right now. And I'm actually going to be talking about that right now. So before we talk about AMC, I want to bring your attention also to ticker symbol GME or GameStop. So GameStop, the cool thing about GameStop is that, again, we also get to understand the option chain activity. And what many are not noting right now is that GameStop actually has a lot of consistent option chain activity. And remember, everyone, if you haven't shared this video already with your fellow AMC holders or with your fellow GME holders, make sure you guys do so because right over here, the option chain activity is indicating that GameStop has consistent, again, everyone, consistent option chain activity. And this is much rather pointing to the call option side compared to the put option side. Now, what do I mean by that? Remember how I was just talking about the cool concept behind GameStop is that many are not understanding right now that there could be something that could be happening very momentarily because why would there be this many buyers on a consistent day by day basis? You do not see this with a lot of other equities. It's not like this where a lot of stocks just have this continuous call option, call option, call option, call option. And then again, more call options, even more call options. And then over here, you have this massive spike. And this is actually, again, the day before GameStop decided to have a run from $206 to $213. I believe it went even higher. But again, I don't think that it just updated as well to the highs of the highs. Maybe it was because pre-market or even after hours, they don't indicate any of that. All they indicate is 9.30 Eastern Standard Time to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now we are currently trading at $210. And again, you see that it is, again, more consistent option chain activity. So that's the cool thing about GameStop. It is consistent. There are buyers. Why are there buyers? Again, that's what they don't want you to know. Now over here, let's talk about AMC again, because this is an AMC video. And I just want to indicate one quick thing. AMC stock is an absolute beast. First of all, look at this option chain activity right over here. We have an insane increase. We have a complete surge in the call option activity. For what reason? Again, that's what they don't want you to know. But in my opinion, I do believe something is going to be coming for AMC. Now, is it going to reach $10,000? Just wait momentarily, and I'm going to explain all that in just a few seconds. But again, there is, in my opinion, something that is happening with AMC. Someone is accumulating either the call options or just pure equities. We can't really indicate what's going on with the equities unless we take a look at the volume, which I will be doing. It just seems a little weird right now that there are this many call option buyers on a consistent basis, which hasn't really happened for AMC. And also the relative strength index for AMC is absolutely phenomenal as well. Now, if you didn't understand any of that, don't worry, we're going to explain it again, except we're going to turn to the technicalities of this. Over here, we do have a lot of slopes and I'm not going to be drawing this in the conventional way, which many of you guys are probably familiar of, which would be just support and resistance lines. For example, this over here would be one support level, or actually I would say it would be even higher right over here because it goes to a lot of points. And then over here, there's also another conventional level, which I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with. It is called the resistance level. So I would say that this would definitely be a resistance level. And I'm actually not going to draw it like this though. So I'm actually going to delete these because I believe that right now, right over here, we have a lot more strength going into even more complex slopes, right? And so this is actually going to be more complex support levels. They basically do fall under the same parallelism. They can be interchangeable. In essence, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look on the near term time frame. Now this may be a little different because I'm actually on the one year, one day chart, but take a look at this because I'm not going to be looking at the chart going from the left onwards. I'm actually just going to be looking at the right of this chart because right over here because this chart actually starts from October 28th of 2021 so that's perfect because that is in the near term now over here I have identified that there has been some sort of a support and we are going to be looking on a lot of technical charts just to understand is this consistent with the data that we are indicating right now now so this is one support level it is not going to be the slope of zero so we're actually going to have some numerical metric behind this and so also not only that I do understand that there's also some sort of resistance level and so this is actually going to be more traditional and this is just going to be our basic resistance level like like this. Now, if you see over here, you can already start to understand what type of trend is going on. All I'm going to do is extend this line to make sure it continues so we can understand what's going to happen in the future, or at least have a better understanding of what could come. And so over here it does seem like we are approaching a near term low support level of where AMC could go because right now it used to be trading at $39.78. And let me just tell you, it's not ironic that it went there because I'm actually going to label this right over here. Guess what happened? Same exact level right over here. And so I would actually say if we're talking about conventional versus unconventional, then a support level that many could have bought at would have been this level right here because it went once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven, and now eight. Now it did already have a bounce, which is actually pretty phenomenal because again, we are close to that support line going to, again, this slope. Now, we're not done yet, though, because we need to confirm that this trend is actually here. So if we go over here to the one hour time frame, it is actually even more clear. OK, so the same exact slope. That is perfect. We have the same candle six. And if we just zoom out a little bit, we can understand that. Wait a minute. Not only does it appear to be approaching a near term bottom, but it also looks like we are beginning to form a little bit of a breakout, meaning that it should take just a little bit more time, probably until I would say the beginning of December before AMC could really start and see a breakout. Now, remember AMC stock family, I'm going to say this one more time. If you haven't shown 
share this video already, make sure you guys share it with your fellow AMC members because many just are waiting. They're waiting, what is going to happen to AMC? They're waiting, is AMC even going to have a breakout? But I must say this though, because again, there are articles saying that AMC stock should be worth $6 a share. AMC stock should be worth $5 a share. So if AMC does get a lot of negative pressure, a lot of negative sentiment, and this trend line of the slope actually breaks, that numerical value of the slope isn't there anymore. And so once you break the support line, the slope support line, I should say, then that would indicate that the trend is broken. That's why the slope is very important. And if we actually go over here to the four hour time frame, I'm just going to look one more time to see is this trend supported by all the time frames or in many of the time frames. And what do you know it is supporting? All we need to do is make sure we did not end up breaking this line, which could end up happening if there are more paper hands. And one quick note before I end this video, many of you guys were wondering, can AMC stock actually go to $10,000 a share? Can it go to $12,000 a share? That would indicate a 250x. And let me just tell you guys right now, the market is not going to allow that to happen with the current market conditions. And there are even stocks like SUNW, SUNW. Let's go ahead and pull up this chart right over here. The market, again, just will not allow this to happen because stocks have been plummeting, which is why, again, I'm saying that AMC stock is actually very, very lucky to have all this strength. Even with the paper hands, there is still a lot of strength because we could just compare it to right over here, going all the way to $27 a share and is now at $6 a share. Come on, guys, this is actually falling under this solar panel stocks. Solar panels are having a ton of momentum right now simply because of the infrastructure bill and you still see small caps like this getting absolutely beaten down. Now if these stocks aren't even going up because other stocks like Enphase, take a look at this everyone, again this is why the market is not going to allow this. Enphase is a big cap stock, Enphase is also a solar panel stock. Look at the difference, it is absolutely just insane as what is going on. So if you go to the weekly chart, Enphase is now $243 or $254 a share. This was one of my favorite stocks going into 2021 and I didn't even know about this infrastructure bill. I didn't know that this was actually going to be a possibility because again, Congress does talk a lot back and forth about whether they are going to sign a bill, whether they don't. But I ended up purchasing a lot of Enphase at around $120 a share. And I also even got some Sun W just because they should fall under the same category, the same sector, just because again, it is a small cap and small caps are not favorited right now. If I do have any updates about the market conditions, I'll let you guys know because I know that many of you guys, you guys are extremely excited for what AMC is going to do. Now with that being said, AMC Stock Family, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't be sitting like